Gloire à Dieu. Praise the Lord. Alors nous bénissons le Seigneur parce que l'année 2022 a commencé. We bless the Lord for this year 2022 which started. Et Dieu nous a donné la pensée prophétique de l'année. And God gave us a prophetic mind for the year. La parole de Dieu est sortie et le thème de cette année, c'est notre année de croissance de l'église locale dans la vie de l'esprit. The word of God came this year is our year of a growth of the local church in the life of the spirit. En voyant ce thème-là, nous voyons que Dieu nous conduit pas à pas, année après année. By this thing, you can notice that God is leading us day by day, year by year. Envers notre Père spirituel, for our spiritual Father, qui est un visionnaire, qui sait capter la pensée de Dieu. Who is a visionary, we know how to catch the mind of God. Afin d'amener tous ses fils et ses filles de Dieu dans la direction que Dieu veut. In order to bring all his sons and daughters of God in God's direction. Et Dieu nous a fait la grâce cette semaine d'avoir le séminaire Arbre de Vie. And God made us the grace to have this week the Tree of Life seminar. Le séminaire Arbre de Vie, c'est pour, comme lui-même il le dit, c'est pour débroussailler d'abord le thème de l'année et chaque fois que Dieu nous donne un thème. The seminar was to introduce the theme of the year whenever God gave us a theme for a year. Alors c'est pourquoi tout au long de ce séminaire cette semaine, That's why le papa a enseigné week. sur le thème de notre croissance donc dans la vie de l'esprit. Our father told us on the theme of our growth in the life of the spirit. Et nous avons énormément reçu chacun pour sa part. And we received a lot each one for his portion. Non seulement on a reçu de manière générale la parole qui a été communiquée. We received in a general way the words that was given to us. Mais de manière personnelle, individuelle, chacun de nous a saisi la pensée de Dieu pour lui-même afin qu'il évolue et qu'il avance. But personally, each one of us received the mind of him for his life for him to move forward. Beaucoup de choses ont été dites pendant donc ce séminaire. Many things were said during this program. Mais aujourd'hui, nous prenons des points essentiels pour nous encourager. But today we share the key points to encourage us. On ne peut pas répéter carrément tout un séminaire. We cannot come back on a full seminar in one or on two hours. On peut prendre des éléments essentiels. But we can take the key points. Vous savez, dans tout séminaire, dans tout enseignement, il y a l'élément essentiel qui provoque la manifestation in des every, autres. In every seminar, in every teaching, there's a key point that will trigger the manifestation. Et ce matin, c'est ce que je vais faire par la grâce de Dieu, prendre des éléments que par la grâce de Dieu j'ai pu comprendre et saisir et partager cela avec vous ensemble. This is what I'm going to do today. I will take some points that I've understood for, to share with you. Alors nous allons prier pour la parole du Seigneur. Let's pray for the word père of the Lord. Père de grâce et Père de bonté ce matin. Father of grace and goodness. Nous te disons merci de tout notre cœur. We thank you for we thank you for our pour ton amour. We give you thanks for your love. Pour la grâce manifestée en Jésus pour nous. For the grace manifested in Jesus Christ merci for us. Merci pour le Saint Esprit. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Que tu nous as donné. That you gave us. Est en nous it is in us right par now. Esprit, by your spirit. Tu nous ce matin. You are teaching us this you morning. Ce matin. You talk to us tu today. Nous you instruct afin us. Que Père Céleste, so that Heavenly Father. Le thème de cette année the theme of this year. Vivant en chacun may nous. be real in each que one of us life. That the key points. That we are going to share today. Chacun de nous may help each one of us. Dans tous ces enseignements qui ont été donnés, to be fed in all the things that were given. Afin que Seigneur, so that Lord, l'expérience de la croissance, the experience of growth, dans la vie de l'esprit, in the life of the spirit, soit authentique dans nos vies, may be genuine in our lives, niveaux, in all the areas of our lives, Christ. in the name of Christ Jesus. Merci de bénir les cœurs ce matin. Thank you for blessing their hearts this morning. Merci Père. Thank you Father. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Praise the Lord. Que le Seigneur soit béni. May the name of the Lord be blessed. Alors, comme je disais, on a vu beaucoup de choses. I was saying we saw a lot of things. Beaucoup de paroles ont été partagées pour nous enseigner. A lot of words were given to teach us. Pour nous instruire et nous aider à progresser to dans le thème de cette année. To instruct us and help us progress in the theme of this year. Et ce matin, and today, le thème sur lequel je vais partager, the theme I'm going to share with c'est notre you, attitude envers le Saint Esprit. Is our attitude toward the Holy Spirit. Détermine notre croissance dans la vie de l'Esprit. Mean our growth in the life of the spirit. Notre attitude, our attitude, envers le Saint Esprit, towards the Holy Spirit, determine, we determine, notre croissance, our growth. Dans la vie de l'esprit. In the life of the Le spirit. Le papa tout au long de ces semaines nous a partagé des révélations concernant ce thème-là. Our spiritual fathers shared with us revelations about this theme. Mais j'ai vu que ce thème-là, tous les enseignements qui ont été donnés. But I saw that from all the teachings that was given. Ce sont des clés qui nous ont été communiquées. Keys were given to us. Des clés pour que nous puissions aborder l'année qui est là. Keys for we to start the new year. 
Et le papa nous a dit And our spiritual que father told us après moi, les enseignements seront donnés. That we came back in detail months Mais quand nous voyons tous ces enseignements qui ont été donnés pendant cette semaine, But when we see the teaching given this week, L'élément important est centré sur le Saint-Esprit. The main thing is focused on the Holy Spirit. Et je dirais surtout notre attitude envers le Saint-Esprit. And I would like to say our attitude towards the Holy Spirit. Parce que lorsque nous parlons de la croissance de l'église locale dans la vie de l'Esprit, we come on to talk about the growth of the local church in the life of the Spirit. On ne parle pas de la vie humaine. We are not talking about the human on life. On parle de la vie de l'esprit. We are talking about the life of the spirit. Et si on parlait de la vie humaine, l'homme serait la centrale de it, cette vie. It was it was human life. Man will be the source of Mais this life. Mais ici on parle de la vie de l'esprit. But here we are talking about the life of the spirit. Donc la personne centrale dans cette vie c'est le Saint Esprit. So the main person in that life is the Holy Spirit. C'est l'esprit de Christ. In the spirit of Christ. C'est lui qui va nous donner de croître dans la vie de l'esprit. He is the one that will give us to grow in the life of the Spirit. Puisque la vie de l'esprit que nous avons reçu vient de l'esprit lui-même. As the life of the Spirit that we receive is coming from the Holy Spirit itself. La vie de l'esprit c'est le monde de l'esprit. The life of the Spirit is the realm of the Spirit. C'est la vie du Saint Esprit de Dieu. It's the life of the Holy Spirit of God. Et c'est lui qui est venu exprimer cela en chacun d'entre nous. And he is the one who came to manifest that in each one of us. Mais tout ce qui concerne la vie de l'esprit est lié à l'esprit de Dieu. But anything about the life of the spirit is connected to the spirit of Cela veut dire que sans le Saint Esprit, cette vie n'est pas réelle. It means that without the Holy Spirit, you cannot live this life. Sans le Saint Esprit, cette vie n'est pas manifeste en chacun d'entre nous. Without the Holy Spirit, this life cannot be expressed in each one la of us. La croissance dans la vie de l'esprit est déterminée par le Saint Esprit. The growth in the life of the Spirit is determined by the Holy Spirit Himself. Mais surtout par nous-mêmes notre attitude envers le Saint Esprit. But above all, our attitude toward the Holy Spirit. Parce que le Saint Esprit connaît la vie de l'Esprit. Because the Holy Spirit knows the life of the Spirit. C'est sa vie à lui, c'est son domaine à lui. It is his very own life. It is Haria. Nous étions dans la vie humaine. We were living in a human life. Et par la grâce de Christ, And by the grace of Christ le Saint-Esprit nous a introduit dans la vie divine. The Holy Spirit introduced us into divine dans life. cette vie de l'Esprit de Dieu. In that life of the Spirit of God. C'est lui donc qui peut nous faire avancer pas à pas. So he's the one that can make us move forward. Mais quand nous voyons tous les enseignements que nous avons reçus, But when we see all the teachings we receive this week, nous avons compris que pour avancer dans la vie de l'Esprit, l'attitude de chaque croyant envers le Saint-Esprit est importante. Attitude Cette attitude-là est très importante. This attitude is so important. Que ce soit individuellement, it may be que ce soit en tant qu'Église locale, local parce que quand on dit la croissance Because de l'Église locale dans la vie de l'Esprit, of the local church and the life of the L'église locale c'est chaque individu. The local church is each person, each member. L'église locale c'est chaque personne. The local church is each person in the church. C'est la croissance de chaque membre de l'église locale qui détermine aussi la croissance de l'église locale dans la vie de l'église. The growth of each member of the local church will determine the growth of the local church. Puisque nous sommes tous membres du corps de Christ. As we are all members of the body of Christ. Alors frères et sœurs, so, qu'est-ce qui rend possible la vie de l'esprit dans un homme? What are the things that makes possible the life of the spirit in a man? Je parle pas d'abord de l'attitude qu'on doit avoir. I'm On va voir ça tout à l'heure. I'm not qu talking about the attitude. Qu'est-ce qui rend possible la vie de l'esprit dans un homme? I'm talking about the possibilities to live the life of the spirit in a human being life. Qu'est-ce qui amène la possibilité dans un homme d'opérer et de vivre dans la vie de l'esprit? It means what are those things that bring the possibility to for a human being to live the life of the Nous spirit? Nous allons lire dans Jean chapitre 3. Let's read John chapter 3. Jean chapitre 3. John 3. À partir du verset 1. Verse 1. La Bible que Jésus, il s'agit de la conversation entre Jésus et donc Nicodème. Here is Jesus talking with Nicodemus. Et dans ce passage, nous allons voir eh, qu'est-ce qui rend possible réellement la vie de l'esprit dans un homme. Dans, je dis bien, je dis pas forcément dans un chrétien, dans un homme. On dit l'homme dans son sens verse, général. We will see how it's possible to live the spiritual life, the life of the spirit in a human being, like, not in a Christian necessarily, but in a how can a human being live the life of the spirit? It means no matter what person, no matter what his ethnicity, his nationality, his class social. It means no matter be the man, his gender, his ethnicities, no matter who he is. Il déclenche la possibilité 
pour cet homme-là de vivre la vie de l'esprit. There's something that triggered the possibility for this man or this woman to live the Et life of the spirit. Et dans ce Jésus va parler de cela. In that scripture, Jesus will talk about this possibility. La Bible dit qu'il y a eu un homme. The Bible says there was a man. Entre les pharisiens nommé Nicodème. Of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. Donc on ne présente pas d'abord la nationalité de cette personne. The Bible doesn't first introduce its nationality. No. On ne présente pas d'abord son nom. It does not introduce his name first. On ne présente pas d'abord sa fonction. It does not introduce his position. Mais on le présente comme un homme. But it first introduced as a man. Il est un homme, tu es un homme. He is a man, you are a man, you are a woman. Ce que Jésus va dire là concerne les hommes. What Jesus will say is about men, human beings. Il est d'entre les pharisiens. He says this man was one of the Pharisees. Ça c'est sa classe sociale. This is his social position. Son nom c'est Nicodème. His name was Nicodemus. Et sa position on dit qu'il est un chef. And his professional position he bears to say is a ruler. Is a ruler of the Jews. But the main point is not about us being. It's about being a man. And let's see the right of this man. This man came to Jesus by night. Et il a dit à Jésus, Rabbi, nous savons que tu es un docteur venu de Dieu. And said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from from God. Ces miracles que tu fais, si Dieu n'est avec lui. For no one can do these signs you do unless God is with him. Le verset qui suit. Next verse. Jésus lui répondit. Jesus answered and said to him. En vérité, en vérité. Much assuredly, I say to you. I say to you, he said much assuredly, very, very, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot have the possibility to see the kingdom of God. Look at the beginning of this scripture. Jesus said much assuredly, very, very, I say to you. If a man, he first describes this man as a Pharisee. His name is Nicodemus. He's a ruler of the Jews. But when Jesus will talk to him, Jesus put aside all his titles. Among all those qualifications he has, the only thing Jesus will keep in his mind is that he's a man. Et il lui dit si un homme. Il n'a pas dit si un pharisien. Il n'a pas dit si un pharisien. Il n'a pas dit si un chef des juifs. Il n'a pas dit si un chef des juifs. Il n'a pas dit si un homme. Il n'a pas dit si un homme. Cela veut dire que la possibilité de la vie de l'esprit est ouverte à tout homme. Il veut dire que la possibilité de la vie de l'esprit est ouverte à tout homme. Il veut dire que la possibilité de la vie de l'esprit est ouverte à tout homme. Il veut dire que la possibilité de la vie de l'esprit est ouverte à tout homme. Il veut dire que si un homme ne naît de nouveau. Unless one is born again, he doesn't have the possibility to see the kingdom of God. Our spiritual father said, when he said about the kingdom of God, it's about the life of the spirit. The life of the spirit is also the kingdom of God. Because only the kingdom of God we talk about the life of the spirit. In the kingdom of men, we talk about the life of men. In the kingdom of the animal, we talk about the life of the animals. In the kingdom of the flower, we talk about the life of the flowers. But in the kingdom of God, ah, we talk about the life of the spirit. Is that what Jesus said to Nicodemus? Unless one is born again, he cannot, he doesn't have the possibility, the opportunity to live the life of the spirit, to see the kingdom of God. It means that the things that give to each man the possibility to live the life of the spirit it is his new birth. He or she, her new birth. The new birth is connected to the kingdom of God. It's the birth in the kingdom of God. Let on Jesus we say what is born of the flesh is flesh. It's what is born of the flesh. What is born of the flesh is human life. Qui est né de la vie humaine au père simplement au, au niveau de la vie humaine. Il sait what is born from the human flesh will live in the life of the mais flesh. Mais ce qui est né de l'esprit est esprit. But he said which is born of the spirit is, is spirit. Celui qui est né de l'esprit opère dans la vie de l'esprit. The one who is born the spirit will walk in the life Parce of the spirit. Parce que lui-même il n'a pas 
Because himself does not have first the spirit, he is himself a spirit. So the possibility to live the house of the spirit is in him because he is a spirit. So the new birth is the first thing that gives us the possibility no matter to be the man or the woman to live the life of the spirit. It means that unless a man is born again, no matter be his effort, no matter be his prayer, no matter be his fasting, no matter be his activities, the possibility to live the life of the spirit is not in him. The matter we're talking about here is not a matter I want this, I will have it. No, it's a matter of being born again first. The new birth is the important condition. When you read the scripture, Jesus will say a word that is deep. He told to Nicodemus, verse 7, do not matter what I say to you. Il faut you must que vous de be born again. Je crois que cette parole -là I think that this word met le clou à la revelation. put an end to the revelation. Il faut que vous de it nouveau. says you must be Il born again. Un He's saying to a teacher. Il dit ça un He's saying, saying to a Pharisee. He's saying to the ruler of the Jews. Mais il dit ça but à un he's homme. saying above all to a man. What you have to keep in your mind, he was a man. Homme. He said, Anyone should be born again. You must. You don't have to. You cannot discuss about that. You cannot avoid it. You cannot escape this condition. If you want to live the life of the spirit, you must be born again. So the new birth is compulsory. If I, if I really want to live the life of the spirit, this is what God said here to Nicodemus. That were brothers and sisters. Ezekiel 36. Seven. The Lord talking to us about the new birth. He's giving us more details. Ezekiel 36, Ezekiel 36 verse 24. What is the Bible saying? He says this scripture. God is the one speaking. God is taking the responsibility upon him. He says, For I will take you from among the nations. Je vous rassemblerai de tous les pays. Gather you out of all countries. Et je vous ramènerai dans votre pays. And bring you into your own land. Je répandrai sur vous une eau pure. Then I will sprinkle clean water on you. Et vous serez purifiés. And you shall be clean. Je vous purifierai de toutes vos souillures et de toutes vos idoles. I will cleanse you from all your filthiness and from all your idols. Je vous donnerai un cœur nouveau. I will give you a new heart. Et je mettrai en vous un esprit nouveau. And put a new spirit within you. J'ôterai de votre corps. I will take the heart. Le cœur de pierre. Of stone out of your flesh. Et je vous donnerai un cœur de chair. And give you a heart of flesh. Je mettrai mon esprit en vous. I will put my spirit within you. Et je ferai en sorte que and cause you to vous suiviez mes ordonnances. Walk in my statutes. Et que vous en serviez et pratiquiez mes lois. And you will keep my judgment and do Adam them. la parole de Dieu. I love the word of God. Écoute-moi mon frère et Listen ma soeur. Listen to me my brother and my sisters. Dans ce passage là. In this scripture. Nous voyons que concernant la possibilité de la vie de l'esprit dans tout temps. We see that about the possibility to live life for any human Dieu being. Dieu prend la responsabilité lui seul sur sa personne. God takes the responsibility upon himself first. Quand vous lisez ce passage, when you read the scripture, vous ne voyez pas l'intervention d'un homme. You don't see a human being intervention. Vous voyez l'intervention de Dieu. You only see God's intervention. Dieu dit je ferai. God say I will. Je ferai. I Je vous I will bring you back. In all the scripture, it's God that is committing Dieu himself. It's God that is involving himself. It means God does not introduce you in the level of respect. You cannot live Il there. You cannot enter there. He said, I will bring you Je back. I will clean you. Je vous I will cleanse you. I will gather Je you. I will sprinkle on you a clean water. I will cleanse you from all your filthiness. And it says, I will give you a new heart. And I will put in you a new spirit. You see, it's God doing the job here. The new birth is the work of God in the heart of a man. It's the work of the Holy Spirit in the heart of a human being. By the Holy Spirit, 
God can give you a new heart. It takes away the stony heart. It takes away the stony heart. It's the heart that is controlled by the nature of sin. This is the stony heart. This heart of rebellion. This heart that was saying no to God. God is giving you a new heart in which his life is poured. The new heart is also the righteousness of God. The nature of God. This new heart and this new spirit will make you being born again. And now you are in the kingdom of God. From this moment, you are ready to walk in the life of the spirit. Praise the Lord. That's why the new birth is important. Today we are preaching a lot of things. We are sending, instead of sending people to the entrance door, we are preaching the windows, not the doors. Instead of preaching the doors, we are preaching the windows. Instead of preaching the good, the good news that we bring us to the kingdom, the only doors that Jesus put there, the only doors that Jesus reveals, this door is based on the finished work of Christ is the door of the new birth which is manifested by the Holy Spirit based on the power of the cross that cancel the former art and based on the power of resurrection that introduce a new heart into you the resurrection destroy the human nature that was working in you wherever the cross the cross destroys the human nature that were working in you the resurrection invest in you the nature of God the life of the spirit and this is made by the Holy Spirit based on the finished work of Christ because it's the work that Jesus Christ has finished that gives the legality to the work of the Holy Spirit that why the Holy Spirit couldn't come in us before Jesus. The work of the Holy Spirit should have a legal document, a legal permission. Legal permission. I don't know when I talk about this, those things, my spirit is terrible. The work of Christ. The work of the cross. This is where our sins are cleansed. The devil is overcame. This is where the darkness. That we are living the darkness to go in the light of darkness. The finished work of Christ. And the Holy Spirit comes with the local document that Christ has left. That we talk about the testament, a will. The will is the one Jesus Christ established. And his will was valued by the blood. The blood of the new covenant is the blood of the testament is the blood that signed that Christ died and is risen to great witness the reality of the testimony of the will. Praise the Lord. There is no Christian life out of the finished work of Christ. And so the Holy Spirit comes now based on the finished work to work in your life, to work in my life, and it gives you a new heart. This is the possibility now. This is what makes possible to a man or to a human being, to a human being, no matter be gender, to live the life of the spirit. The second thing that makes possible for a human being to live the life of the spirit, verse 28, 27, so it said, I will put my spirit within you. And now, God will put his life in you first. The new birth, God put his life in me. But second possibility, I will put my spirit within you. It is the one who received a new heart that moved by, went through the new birth. Is the one who can welcome, that can receive. He is the one that can, that can become the dwelling place, the house, the supernatural house of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit can move in many people's lives. 
but he only dwells in those who are born again. That why be careful. Jesus said, the world doesn't know him, but you, you know him because he dwells in you and he will be with you. The Holy Spirit in me allows me to know him. It is the one, is the one who is in you that you can know. Praise the Lord. He said the world doesn't know him. That's why let's be careful. There are many people today, they say that they talk in tongues. They say that they speak in tongues. But when you look, they are not born again. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, if someone is not born again, he doesn't have the possibility to speak the language given by the Holy Spirit. Don't deceive yourself. Jesus gave the characters how can recognize something true or false. That's why you have to be careful. The donkey, the house of Balaam spoke Hebrew, but did not become a man. After speaking to Balaam, he remained a donkey. He remained a so the language doesn't make up you a child of God. No. It needs a new birth. The new birth will make up you a child of God. The new birth. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's why let, not, let us not preach the windows. Let's preach the door, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He, he said, I will put my spirit within you. The old spirit in us is the possibility given to us by God. After the new birth, to live the life of the spirit. So he who is born again, who had the old spirit in him, got the possibility, the, 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 the way of the love of the spirit is open to him. He can now work, he can live the the life of the spirit. Say, Lord, thank you. Because, because I'm born again. I have a new heart. I have a new spirit. I'm regenerated. You are putting me your spirit. The possibility to live the life of the spirit. To grow in the life of the spirit is now open to me. Amen. 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 I say this not a summary like you used to see. I'm giving the key points of Amen. the conference. The key points. That when you take a car, there are the key points that make a car a car. You have the engine, for example. If there's no engine, no matter be the, the things, the cables, it cannot work. You need to put first the engine because connecting the different cables, the, the wires of the lap of the spirit, but put the engine before connecting the wires. Amen. Praise the Lord. So the possibility to live the life of the spirit is given to us by our new birth and next by the fact that the Holy Spirit is dwelling in us. Alors, soeur, so brothers and sisters, quand le Saint -Esprit est en nous, when the Holy Spirit is in us, le but et le rôle du Saint -Esprit en nous, the purpose and the role of the Holy Spirit in us ce pas seulement de nous avoir donné la vie is not only to give us soins. life, no, Mais de nous faire croître dans but la vie it de is to make us grow in the life of the Je Spirit. Reprends. I say it once again. But purpose and the role of the Holy Spirit in you is not only to give you life, but it is to make you grow in this life of the Spirit. And truly, there is a growth in the life of the Spirit that really exists. There is a possibility to grow up, to increase in the life of the Spirit. Many people just boast themselves because they are born again. Praise the Lord, I'm born again, wonderful. I have the life of God in me, yes. I have the life of the Spirit in me, yes. The Holy Spirit is in me, yes. But this is not enough. You have to grow in the life of the Spirit. You have to increase in this life. You have this life of the Spirit that is in you. You must have a clear growth, a true increase. That's why I say yes. There is a growth in the life of the Spirit that do exist not only in our personal lives but also in the life of the local church 
dans notre vie personnelle, in our personal lives, mais dans l'église locale, but also in the local church, l'homme de Dieu the man of doit croire dans la vie de l'esprit. Spirit. Chaque membre de l'église, each member of the church, doit croire dans la vie de l'esprit. grow in the life of the spirit. The local church in the wholeness must grow in the life of the spirit. And I believe once there's a growth in the life of the spirit in the local church, the ministry of the man of God will start experiencing rest. His work will enter in a season of rest. But once there is no growth in the life of the spirit, in the local church, the man of God will still carry burdens. That's what Apostle Paul said. He was talking to the Corinthians. He said, Dear Corinthians, for I'm still experiencing the pains of conception. Things that Christ be fully formed in you. The man of God has still no rest. Till the church, the local church, grow up in the life of the Spirit. It is this life of the Spirit or this growth, rather, this growth that allows a pastor, a leader, de mesurer to measure l'impact de son ministère the impact of his ministry l'impact de son ministère the impact of his ministry in the life of the brothers sisters following him listen to me comment david a mesuré how did david de son ministère sur les gens qui le suivent how did david assess the impact of his ministry upon the people life of his followers first samuel 22 i think à partir verset la bible que tous ceux qui ont suivi david the bible says all those who follow david c'était des des bandits was gangster des gens endettés and debted people des gens qui étaient crooks et, 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 dans la misère people that were living in misery des gens qui étaient poursuivis rejetés people that was rejected by the society but they believed in David they saw that the love of the spirit was working in David's life they saw that he was anointed God's reality was upon this young man they decided to follow him they decided to follow David and to work under the mentorship of the love of the spirit that was upon David but later on the Bible made a report of the same group the Bible is no more calling them indebted people the Bible is no more calling them rejected people or people that were rejected by the society they are now called mighty men of valor mighty men how are they mighty they are mighty because the life of the spirit that was in David's life broke something in their lives their life was modeled their life was changed their life grow up in the things of God and they become mighty the wound strength in the life of the spirit is not outward it's connected to your inner life if you are mighty it's not by your clothes that you acknowledge that it's not by what you are doing at church activities it's according to what you develop in your inside it's what you develop in your inside listen to me the Bible said the righteous one grow up Pour like a palm tree. For we will live by the seaside. The palm tree got the dimension of growth. When the wind of the sea, the strong winds, the strong storms of the sea are rising and as waving the palm tree, the palm tree can bend but you never fall down. The might of this strength, of this palm tree, when you see the palm tree is, is, is tall, it can be the coconut tree. It's the same family. The palm tree is really big. It's strong. By why it doesn't, it doesn't fall? The palm tree is grow but slim. But you will see it will bend but it will never fall. Why? The might of this palm tree or this coconut tree, or this coconut tree is found in its roots. In the roots. And the specificity of the roots of a palm tree or of coconut tree 
ce n'est pas une seule racine. Il y a des petits, 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 petits racines little, 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 little qui font roots sa force. That make Quand la vie de l'esprit se développe en toi, les you, petites choses sont affermies. Sont enracinées. Sont enracinées. Et à un moment, tu vas voir que tu deviens solide. Quelqu'un peut te regarder. On dirait que tu es faible. En apparence, mais c'est juste une appearance. You, you seem to have Mais no full restraint. But is a tragedy yeah. with regret. <laughs> Hallelujah. Makatala la bachandili. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> if they try, they will regret. <laughs> Don't try. Lebo <laughs> shatamaya. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Écoutez-moi, un témoignage. Écoutez-moi. Listen to me. Quand je me suis converti, when I get converted, je me suis converti à l'âge de 10 ans. By the age of 10. Et dans ma famille, on ne voulait rien entendre des églises évangéliques. Ma famille ne voulait rien entendre des églises évangéliques. Mais on nous appelait Alléluia. Ils nous appelaient Alléluia. Parce qu'ils ne disaient pas Alléluia, c'est un mot qui est commun. Parce qu'Alléluia est un mot qui est commun. Évangélique de Christian. Tu ne peux pas parler sans dire Alléluia. Nous ne pouvons pas parler sans dire Alléluia. Donc on disait, on priait. So we were praying. When I got born again, I was really persecuted by my family. But I started to be rooted. You know, I didn't have the opportunity when I was converted to go into the churches. You know, when I was converted, I didn't have the opportunity when I was converted to go into the churches. You know, when I was converted, I didn't have the opportunity when I was converted to go into the churches. You know, when I was converted, I didn't have the opportunity when I was converted to go into the churches. You know, when I was converted, I didn't have the opportunity when I was converted to go into the churches. You know, when I was converted, I didn't have the opportunity when I was converted to go into the churches. You know, when I was converted, I didn't have the opportunity when I was converted to go into the churches. You know, when I was converted, I didn't have the opportunity when I was converted to go into the churches. You know, when I was converted, I didn't have the opportunity when I was converted to go into the churches. You know, when I was converted, I didn't have the opportunity when I was converted to go into the churches. You know, when I was converted, I didn't have the opportunity when I was converted to go into the churches. You know, when I was converted, I didn't have the opportunity when I was converted to go into the churches. You know, when I was converted But the work of Christ was finished. That's what is important. This is what matters. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. No, but it's the finished work of Christ. But the house was not finished. But it's not important. 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 But il a prêché, When he preached, il a lancé l'appel. J'ai accepté Christ. And I received Christ. Je ne me suis pas rendu compte de I ce que j'avais, ce qui s'était passé à moi. What happened into my life. Je suis arrivé à la maison. I came back home. Je vis que mes désirs, les anciens désirs sont partis. Il y avait de nouveaux désirs qui étaient là. Il y avait de nouveaux désirs qui étaient là. Le désir de prier. 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 Was trying to meet you. Yeah. Come, sir. Is this is how it works. When you are born again, people see you as a strange person. But you see them also as strange to you. Because you have changed of country. You have changed of kingdom. So you are stranger to you. And you are stranger to them. This is where there is a disconnection. You are no more joined to them. And I started to live something. It is the love of the Spirit that was working in me by this. Quand je n'avais pas la possibilité d'aller à l'église, moi j'ai abordé la Bible avec un esprit vierge. 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 I really like to move and dance. Si je danse pas, ça When you make danse. party, if I don't dance, there is something wrong. Ça. I really like Et it. Quand on met les chansons, vous When they put the, the songs like Mickey Mickey, Maibo, Kwasa, Kwasa, break dance. Maibo, Kwasa, 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 break dance. All these kind of things. Ça. I was dancing there. Je ça. I really like quand it and love it. Converti, When I get converted, départ, in the beginning, je passe à côté de when I go near to a, 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 a nightclub and they play this song, I feel like something is moving in my body. I want to dance. I want to make the steps. I said to God, this is not normal. Say with me, it is not normal. It's
parole. But I was meditating the je word priais. of God. I was praying. Je méditais la parole. And meditating the je word. Priais. I was praying. Mon père voulait pas que j'allais. My father didn't want me to go to la church. La spirituelle la parole. But the spiritual life of the word. Commencer à développer la vie de l'esprit en moi. We are the life of the spirit. Et mon sang par encore. And we found the light. J'ai arrêté les musiques ne me disaient plus rien. This music was no more influencing. Ça me disait absolument rien. It was nothing to me. Même quand je passe. Even when I on joue ces musiques là. Pass through a night club. Ça m'énerve. I'm 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 upset. Parce qu'il y a une croissance de la vie de l'esprit. Because there was a growth in the life of the spirit. That started happening in my life. Mon père. And you know my father. Comme il aimait les fétiches là. As he really liked fetishes. Il envoyait fetishes. souvent des des fétichers. Sometimes he used to go and call for et them. Et il venait faire des incantations, des imprécations. And they were coming to do incantations. Et où il mettait c'était dans l'autre chambre. And and those people où were moi, je in my bed. Où moi je dormais là. Il nous mettait là-bas. Where we used to sleep with my brother and sisters. Et quand ils s'en vont. And when they leave, vous voyez, frère, on a you see, brethren, we have developed so many things that are really hurting us. Let me tell you. When I used to sleep in this bedroom, I don't care exactly. In fact, I was Jesus Christ conscious. I did not care exactly if fetishes or wizards were in the same room. I was so conscious of Christ Jesus. I was not conscious that a fetish or the wizard was sleeping in my bed. Even if he slept in my physical bed, we don't sleep in the same. Kingdom. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. Jesus, Jesus a dit cela. Jesus said. Jesus a dit de deux qui seront sur le lit. Two in one bed. L'un sera pris. One will be taken. Et l'autre sera laissé. And the other one will be left. Pourquoi il dit l'un sera pris, l'autre sera laissé? One will be taken. Parce que les deux tombent sur le même lit physique. Mais ils sont dans deux royaumes différents. Mais ils sont dans deux différents kingdoms. Parce que quand tu développes la vie de l'esprit, comme le papa l'a dit, la peur s'en va. Les doutes s'en vont. Les inquiétudes s'en vont. Parce que la vie de l'esprit opère avec le degré de révélation que tu as de la parole de Dieu. Comme le papa l'a dit, la peur s'en va. Les inquiétudes s'en vont. Les doutes s'en vont. Les inquiétudes s'en vont. Les doutes 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 s'en vont. I don't do that. Là, This is where I've understood that. Si les gens sont pas dans les if people are not strengthening the truth of Christ, the truth of Christ, les de Christ the truth coming from Jesus Christ, ils trop des de they will be too conscious, conscious of the lies of the devil. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Et je partais, et ça me fortifiait. And I was strengthened. J'ai vu que la peur est partie. I saw the fear left me. J'ai vu que des choses ont commencé à se développer. I saw the fear started developing in me. Même ma sagesse a augmenté. Even my wisdom increased. Mon intelligence a augmenté. My intelligence increased. Ma sagesse a augmenté. Parce que la vie de l'esprit te délève dans la sagesse de Dieu. Because the love of the spirit will lift you up in the wisdom of God. La vie de l'esprit te délève dans l'intelligence de Dieu. The love of the spirit will raise up your understanding of God. Et te lève dans la connaissance de Dieu. It will increase in your your knowledge of God. Et ces choses ont commencé à grandir. And those things started increasing in me. Ça m'a valu aussi des persécutions. But I was also persecuted. Parce que quand j'ai arrêté de vivre une certaine vie. Because when I stopped living this kind of life. Et je vivais la vie que doit vivre un enfant de Dieu. The life of a child of God. Ça m'a valu aussi des persécutions. I was persecuted. Mais Dieu m'a donné de triompher. But God gave me to overcome by His grace. C'est pourquoi je suis là aujourd'hui. That's why I'm here standing. Et c'est comme ça que j'ai évolué pas à pas. That's why I move forward step by step. Step by step. L'amour de la parole a grandi en moi. The word of God increased. La réalité des choses de Dieu a grandi en moi. The word of the things of God increased in me. Aujourd'hui, and today, ceux qui m'ont vu il y a dix ans. The people who saw me when I was ten years old. Quand j'avais dix ans. When I was ten years old. Et maintenant quand ils me voient. And once they see me today. Il y a des gens qui disent mais tu ne pouvais pas prendre une autre voie. You could not take another way. Façon de voyager partir. The way we saw it from your childhood. Tu ne pouvais pas abandonner. You could not end up back being a servant of God. Listen to me, brother. La vie de l'esprit est en toi. La vie de l'esprit est en toi. Mais si elle ne elle ne grandit pas. But if it does not grow. Si il n'y a pas de croissance. If there is no growth, you will remain a babe, a spiritual babe. And there are things we still control in life. So, I will tell you that we don't have the choice to tell the truth. Believe in the spirit. 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 Believe in the
petites racines. Got little roots. C'est ce que ce sont ces petites racines. Yeah. It is those roots. Qui vont en profondeur. That are going Il faut que quel que soit les vents et les ground. tempêtes. No matter be the wind le and the storm. Ne tombe the palm to remain le the same. Reste the palm to don't Sa fall. véritable force est it cachée. Is strength, is hidden Je crois que la roots. croissance dans la vie de l'esprit. And I see that the the spirit, Nous donne une force intérieure cachée. In giving us a hidden strength. Dans les choses spirituelles. In the spiritual et things. aussi pour aborder la vie. And also to face life. Quotidienne de chaque jour. Every day life. Alors le rôle du Saint Esprit. So the role of the Holy Spirit. C'est donc de nous faire grandir. Is to make us grow. Nous up. devons chercher à croître. We have to seek to grow up. Dans la vie du, de, dans la in vie the de l'esprit. In the life of the Spirit. Regardez dans Jean 10 au verset 10. Yeah. John 10:10. 10. Regardez bien dans Jean 10 au verset 10. Yeah. Let's read John 10:10. 10. John 10. John 10. Verset 10. Verse 10. Verse 10. Regardez bien ce qu'il dit. Look at what the Bible Alleluia. says. Est-ce que tu me suis? Are you following me? Il dit. He says, le voleur c'est Jésus qui parle. Il dit Jesus le voleur ne here. vient que. The thief does not come pour except égorger, pour to steal, to steal first, égorger, to kill et détruire. And to destroy. Il dit le voleur. He said the thief ne vient que. Does not come except. Le voleur dont il parle ici. The thief is talking here de about, manière générale. In a general way, c'est tout voleur. It's any kind of thief. De manière spécifique. But in a specific way, c'est l'ennemi. It's the enemy, the de devil. The enemy of our L'ennemi. Source. The enemy de nos âmes. of our souls. Le voleur the thief ne vient que pour dérober. Does not come except to steal. Égorger et détruire. To kill and to destroy. Jésus nous parle clairement de la Jésus mission Jésus. du voleur. Jésus nous parle clairement de la mission du voleur. Any thief, le voleur the thief, qui est Satan that is Satan. et même tout voleur And any kind of quand thief, il vient when they come c'est in pour house, dérober it is to steal. dérober c'est voler to steal means voler to veut dire to enlever take, tes biens to take your goods prendre les biens et les ressources to take your resources de ta vie of your life. C'est ça voler. This is what it means Mais to be a thief but it's not, it's not it's il vient pour égorger it come to le kill, deuxième rôle de Satan The second word of Quand Satan, il a pris tes biens et tes ressources, il va maintenant intenter à ta vie. He try to Égorger ne concerne pas tes biens. Killing doesn't mean your Égorger goods. concerne ta vie. Killing, talk about your il va chercher life. à détruire he ta vie. To your life. Ensuite, Next. il dit le troisième rôle c'est de détruire. Il dit le troisième rôle c'est de détruire. Détruire c'est anéantir la racine. It does not mean to Pour ne plus que roots. ça repousse un autre jour. Il no dit que le voleur vient the fifth only pour comes dérober, to kill, égorger to kill et détruire. Maintenant, regardez ce que Jésus dit. Look at what Jesus Jésus said. dit, moi, Jesus said, but I, quelle parole. What a word. Il dit, moi, I, je suis venu. I've come. Une affirmation claire. A clear statement. Moi, I je suis venu have come afin que les Annihilé. brebis aient la vie. La première life. des choses the first thing pour laquelle Jésus est venu, for just came, c'est afin que les brebis aient la vie. It for the sheep to have Ou life. Témoin. Listen to me. Dans Jean 3 verset 16, John 3, 16. Il dit Dieu a aimé le monde. Il, il a so tant aimé le monde. So il a world. donné son fils unique afin que quiconque croit en lui ne so périsse point, not perish, mais qu'il ait la vie but but have everlasting life. Écoutez frère. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. Le but premier, the first purpose, pour lequel Jésus est venu, for which Jesus came, et le but premier, the first purpose, pour que pour lequel Dieu nous encourage, nous 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 encourage à accepter Christ dans notre vie. For God is encouraging us to accept Christ in our life. C'est la vie éternelle. It is everlasting life. L'objectif de Dieu, God's purpose, c'est que la vie de Dieu soit en toi. Is for His life to be lived. Écoutez-moi. Listen to me. Quand nous avons accepté Jésus, when we receive Jesus Christ, c'est vrai, on a reçu le pardon de nos péchés. Three hours since we were forgiven. La rémission de nos péchés. Our sins was redeemed. Mais ce que Dieu voulait plus, but what God wanted c'est que la vie de Dieu soit dans nous. Je vais vous dire us. pourquoi. I will tell you why. Parce que frère et sœur, quand Adam sisters, a péché dans le jardin, when Adam sinned the garden, écoutez-moi, listen to ce me. que Christ nous a donné là, what Christ gave c'est us, plus que ce que Adam avait. It's more than what Adam had. C'est plus que ce que Adam avait. It's more than what Adam had. Quand Adam a péché, when Adam sinned, Dieu a mis des chérubins à l'entrée du jardin pour les empêcher de garden, pêcher, to prevent them. De la main from stretching the et de end. prendre l'arbre de la vie éternelle. Et Dieu dit, life. et d'en manger. And God said, et de vivre they may éternellement. Eat, eat Cela veut dire quoi? What does it mean? Que Adam, that Adam n'a jamais eu la possibilité de prendre de la vie. Et de manger cela. Sinon, 
If not, il allait vivre éternellement même après avoir fait. He would have lived Mais je vais vous dire une chose. But I'm telling you something. Réalité, je crois Truly, I believe. Que si Adam avait pu manger l'arbre de la vie éternelle. If Adam had eaten the tree of everlasting life. La possibilité de manger l'arbre de la croissance du bien et du mal. The possibility to eat the tree of good, no 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 good, of everlasting life but man did not understand but he took another life the life of disobedience of rebellion towards God that's why when he sinned let us not him touch the tree of life if not he will live forever but by committing sin et en ce moment, il n'aurait même plus de possibilité de rédemption. And by this time, he would have no possibility of redemption for him. Parce que le but de la rédemption, c'est de nous ramener. Because the purpose of redemption is to bring us back. Pour aller manger ce qu'on aurait dû manger qu'on n'a pas mangé. To eat what we were supposed to eat and what we did not eat with Adam and Eve. C'est ça le but de la rédemption. It's the purpose of redemption. That's why we see the cross. The cross broke us back to the state we were before Adam and Adam. And the resurrection makes us to eat what Adam was put to eat that he did not eat. Praise the Lord. Let's come back to the scripture. Jesus said, Believe what I'm telling you. That's why we are called kainos thesis. That means new creation in Greek. New creation. I would never like the word new creature. When we say new creation, they talk about the works that was made. When we talk about new creature, they talk about the being made from the work. La nouvelle créature, c'est un être. The new creature is a Mais being. Mais on utilise l'expression nouvelle création. Mais on say new creation. On parle de l'œuvre. Let's talk about the work. La connotation, c'est l'œuvre qui a été faite. The fait. work is here. Mais de cette œuvre-là, spoken about, but from est that work came a new creature. Un être qui n'a jamais existé. A being that never existed before. Qui vient d'être créé. That was just created. C'est le kainos thesis. It's the kainos thesis. Si il est déposité de la nature divine. He's hosting God's nature. Tout ce que Dieu tout ce que Dieu est là, il a ça. Whatsoever God is, Tout ce que Dieu is. a là, il a ça. Whatsoever God has, Tout ce que Dieu peut là, il a ça. Whatsoever God can, he can do it. Il est exactement tel que Dieu He's voulait qu'il soit. As God wanted him to be. Possédant la vie éternelle. Having everlasting life. Ce qu'Adam n'a pas pu manger. What Adam could not eat. En Jésus Christ, nous in avons Jesus la possibilité. Christ, we have the possibility. Avoir cela en nous. To have this in us. Lo kata bayada. Hmm. Alors, il dit, je suis venu pour que les brebis aient la vie. So I have come to make a life. Mais quelle est cette vie dans quelle quelle est plutôt qu'elle soit dans l'abondance. And that they may have it more abundantly. Le mot abondant ne veut pas dire avoir beaucoup de vie. The more abundant does it mean to have many lives. No. Il dit qu'elle soit dans la plénitude de cette vie. It means that they have to be in the fullness. Quand tu dis dans le grec là, c'est plénitude. Abondant here in the Greek it means fullness. Il dit, je suis venu pour que les brebis aient la vie. Et qu'elle soit dans la plénitude de cette vie. For them to have life and to be the fullness of that life. Here, talk about growth. Ce que je vais vous montrer, c'est ne pas, Jésus n'est pas venu pour qu'on ait seulement la vie. Jesus did not come for me to only have life. Mais qu'il y ait cette croissance dans de la vie de l'esprit en nous. But for me to have this growth of the life of Christ in us. Lisons un autre passage dans Jean chapitre 4. John chapter 4. Jean chapitre 4. John 4. Verset 10 à 14. Verse 10 to 14. Je vais rassembler. I will give her the point. Et dans ce passage là, in this scripture, on nous parle de Jésus face à la femme samaritaine au puits de Jacob. The Samaritan woman. On se souvient que Jésus avait demandé de l'eau à boire à cette femme. We remember that Jesus asked at water to this woman. Et la femme a commencé à faire un débat. And on dit mais pourquoi toi qui es juif tu me demandes de l'eau à boire. She said why are you Jewish? Jésus répond à cette femme. Jesus asked what to say to her. En lui disant regardez bien, il dit si tu connais le don de Dieu. He said if you knew the gift of God. Et qui est celui qui te dit? And who is who says to you? Give me a drink. Tu lui aurais toi-même demandé à boire. You would have asked him, and he would have hey, given you living quoi? water. And he would have given you living water. Et il t'aurait donné de l'eau vive. And he would have given you living water. Alors le verset qui suit. Next verse. Okay. Le verset, le verset, le verset, eh, 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 le verset 10. Verse 10. 
On a lu le verset 10 au verset 11. Il dit, Seigneur, he said, lui dit la said femme, him, Sir, tu n'as rien pour puiser. You have nothing to draw et le puits est profond. And the well is deep. Où well, aurais-tu donc cette eau vive? Do you get that living water? Donc, Jésus propose à son tour une eau vive. Jésus est proposé Also Quand tu lis dans la water. pensée du grec, c'est l'eau de vie éternelle. In the, in the Greek word is the water up. C'est de cette eau dont Jésus parle. This, this water Jesus il dit à la femme, about, he said to the woman, si le l'eau que je te propose, if the water propose c'est l'eau de vie éternelle. Is the water of everlasting et il dit à la, la femme, lui, d'où aurais-tu, et plutôt d'où est-ce que tu vas prendre cette eau? And the woman asked, Where will you take Es-tu this plus water? grand que notre père Jacob? Are you greater than our father Jacob? Il nous a donné ce puits et qui en a pu lui-même. Ainsi que ses fils et ses troupeaux. As well as his Vous voyez, Jésus lui répondit. Quiconque boit de cette eau aura encore soif. Whosoever drink of this cette water will thirst again. C'est l'eau de la vie naturelle. This water is the water of natural life. L'eau de la vie humaine. The water of human life. L'eau qui est donnée par Jacob. The water given by Jacob. Jacob, c'est l'homme en qui il y a la fraude. Jacob is the man in whom there is a lot of fraud. C'est l'homme en qui il y a les faiblesses. A man in whom there is a lot of weaknesses. C'est l'homme en qui il y a des manquements. A man in whom there are so many. Tout ce qui vient de la vie humaine ne peut pas satisfaire la soif spirituelle d'un homme. What so become for me in life cannot satisfy the spirit. La human vie humaine ne peut pas satisfaire ta soif spirituelle. The human life cannot satisfy your spiritual thirst. C'est pourquoi Jésus lui dit quiconque boit de cette eau aura encore soif. That's what Jesus said. Whoever drink from this water will be still thirsty. Verse 14. Mais celui qui boira de l'eau que je lui donnerai, but he that will give the water will give him, n'aura jamais soif. We never Ça n'a rien à voir thirsty. avec la faim et la soif spirituelle qui nous permettent d'avancer dans la vie de l'esprit. Ça n'a rien à voir. Na- spiritual anger and that make us move forward. Jésus dit celui qui boit cette eau n'aura jamais soif. Jesus said, but he would ever n'aura be jamais water, soif give. par rapport à la thirst. vie humaine qui lui donnait toujours de la soif. We never thirst for for human life that was still c'est pourquoi quand tu as accepté Christ, that when you accepted Christ, la soif des choses de la vie ancienne, the first of the things of the former life, le désir de la vie humaine que tu vivais avant, the desire of the human being things la of the former life, la soif de choses de ces choses-là a été enlevée. This first and hunger was la moved. La soif de Dieu est venue plutôt l'eau de vie éternelle est venue combler cette soif. And the water of everlasting life came to satisfy its thirst. Et maintenant tu peux avancer. And now you can move forward. Il dit mais l'eau que je te Regardez bien, il dit, et, et l'eau que je te donnerai said, the water I shall give you, deviendra en toi will become in you. une source d'eau vive, plus une source d'eau qui jaillira that jusque dans that la vie éternelle. Into everlasting life. Il dit, l'eau que je vais te donner, he said, what I'm going to give you, premièrement, va first, combler ta soif. We satisfy your first. C'est l'eau de vie éternelle. Is the water of everlasting Mais il dit, life. cette eau-là ne va pas rester en l'état où on te l'a donné. It's, this water will not remain Elle the deviendra en toi you. une source d'eau vie. It will become a new, a living tu jaillira jusque dans la vie éternelle. That will out into Jésus parle life. de quoi en réalité? What is Jesus about il parle about de la here. croissance dans la vie he de l'esprit. About the growth in life. La croissance dans la vie de l'esprit. Talk about the growth in life of the spirit. Le transfert de la vie de l'esprit simple. Transfer you from the simple life of the spirit. À une vie de l'esprit abondante. To an abundant life of the spirit. Cette vie là devient une source en toi. This life become a water Parce spring. Parce que le papa nous a dit que la vie, quand on parle de la vie de l'esprit. That is when it's about life of the spirit. It's connected to your personal life first. Ce n'est pas lié d'abord au ministère. It's not uh, connected to the ministry. Le ministère vient après. The ministry is coming later. Mais la vie de l'esprit concerne d'abord ma vie. But the life of the spirit is first about my Comment own life. Comment je grandis et je crois dans la vie de l'esprit? Or I grow up and increase the life of the spirit. Jésus dit que cette eau qui est la vie de l'esprit est en toi. Jesus, this water that is the spirit of life in you. une source d'eau qui jaillira. It will become a spring of water that will jusque dans la vie éternelle. Spring up into everlasting life. Cela veut dire que c'est Lorsque nous croissons dans la vie de l'esprit, it means that only when we grow in the life of the spirit, that we prepare our entrance in the eternity. That we prepare our entrance in the eternity. If you neglect the life of the spirit in your personal life, if you neglect the life of the spirit in your personal life, if you don't grow up in the life of the spirit, you will not be ready to enter into eternity. You will not be ready to enter into eternity. You will not be ready to enter into eternity. You will not be ready to enter into eternity. You will not be ready to enter into eternity. You will not be ready to enter into eternity. You will not be ready to enter into eternity. You will not be ready to enter into eternity. You will not be ready to enter into eternity. You will not be ready to enter into eternity. You will not be ready to enter into eternity. You will not be ready to enter into eternity. You will not be ready to enter into eternity. You will not be ready to enter into eternity. You will not be ready to enter les vierges folles n'ont pas grandi et développé la vie de l'esprit en elles. The foolish ones do not grow up and develop the life of the spirit in themselves. Et ça n'a pas jailli jusque dans la vie éternelle. And did not spring up into everlasting life. Christ est venu. When Christ came, elles n'étaient pas prêtes. They were not ready. Elles n'étaient pas prêtes à aller le rencontrer. They were not ready to go and encounter him. Mais les vierges sages. But the wise virgins. Parce qu'elles ont été sages en développant la vie de l'esprit. 
by, and by developing uh, the love of the spirit, they have been wise by developing the love of the spirit. À travers spirit. une communion avec l'esprit et, et une nourriture de la parole dans leur vie. By a daily fellowship of the spirit of God and by feeding the spirit with the word of God. Cette eau de vie éternelle est devenue une source d'eau qui a jailli pour elle jusqu'à dans l'éternité. The water of life becomes a, a spring of waters that spring up into Alleluia. eternity. Amen. Amen. Donc la croissance dans la vie de l'esprit existe. The growth of life Jean 15, dans Jean 15, exists. Jésus parle de cela. 15, On ne va pas lire Jean 15, verset 1 à 6. 15, 1 Vous notez simplement. John 15, Jésus parle de cela. Jesus dans Galates 5, 22. Galates 5, 22. Où il dit 22. le fruit de l'esprit, c'est l'amour. Le fruit de l'esprit, c'est l'amour. Lorsque je grandis dans la vie de l'esprit, la croissance dans la vie de l'esprit, la la vie de l'esprit, la croissance dans 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 la vie de l'esprit, la vie de l'esprit, la l'amour. dans la vie de l'esprit, la croissance 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 dans la vie de l'esprit, la Isn't it? L'enfant est le fruit de l'amour du couple. The child is the fruit of the love. C'est pourquoi nous aussi, dans notre relation avec l'esprit, dans la croissance dans la vie de l'esprit, in the growth of the love of the spirit, le fruit de l'esprit qui se manifeste en nous, the fruit of the spirit that manifests in us, c'est l'amour, is love. En réalité, pour mesurer votre croissance dans la vie de l'esprit, in fact, to assess your growth in the love of the spirit, mesurer le degré d'amour qui se dégage de vous, assess the degree of love that is manifested for you. Un jour, le Seigneur m'a dit. One day, the Lord told me. Fils, he said, "My son, the ministry, the ministry is love. It's si about love. If you don't have love, you cannot do the si ministry. Pas tu veux pas vivre la vie If you don't have love, you cannot live the Christian life. La vie se vit par the Christian life is lived Parce by que notre love. Histoire a commencé par Dieu a tant aimé. Because our story started by God so Dieu loved the world. Aimé. God so loved la nouvelle the alliance a commencé par Dieu a tant aimé. And the new covenant started by God so loved the world. Is the love of God. Du It's the kingdom of the characteristique principale des disciples. The main characteristic of the disciples l'amour. is love. Jésus l'a dit à ceci tous se reconnaîtront. Jesus said by this we Quand all recognize that you are disciples, my disciples. Quel, quel condition? By which condition? Vous vous aimez les uns les by loving each Écoutez other. Moi, frère et Listen to the brothers and sisters. Si nous grandissons dans l'amour, if you grow in love, nous grandissons dans la vie de l'esprit. We grow in the love si of the spirit. Si nous grandissons réellement dans la vie if de l'esprit, if we really grow in the love of the spirit, nous grandissons dans l'amour. We will grow in love. Il n'y a pas quelqu'un qui grandit dans la vie de l'esprit. The nose are growing in the life of the spirit. Sans être un homme ou une femme d'amour. Without being a man or woman of love. Écoutez-moi, frère et sœur. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. Le folklore là ne décide pas que tu es un homme qui grandit dans la vie de l'esprit. The noise doesn't mean that you are growing in the life of the spirit. Mettez le folklore de côté. Put this noise and activities aside. L'indice essentiel. The main thing, point, is love. L'amour. Love. L'amour divin. Divine love. L'amour agapao. Agapao is love. L'amour qui jaillit du cœur de Dieu dans notre cœur. The love that comes up from God's love to our hearts. The fruit of the spirit. Is love. Et c'est l'amour. Love, hallelujah. Qui amène la joie. That brings joy. Qui amène la paix. That brings peace. Qui amène la patience. That brings long suffering. Qui amène la douceur. That brings kindness. Qui amène la bonté. That brings goodness. Qui amène la bienveillance. That brings faithfulness. Et la maîtrise de soi. And self control. L'amour. Love. Produit facilement les autres choses. Produce easily our actions. Écoutez mon frère et sœur. Listen to brothers and sisters. Un homme qui grandit dans la vie de l'esprit. A man that grows in the life of the spirit. Les indices que vous voyez sur sa vie. The main point signs in his life. Is a man is joyful person, a joyful man, a joyful woman. Ce n'est pas la quantité des miracles. It's not the number of miracles. No. When you come to his atmosphere of joy, when you come close to her, the atmosphere of peace. Listen to me. Regardez votre vie cette année. Look at your life this year, 2022. There are some areas in your life where the love of the spirit is not developed. Where the spirit is not manifested. Work on those weak points. Listen to me. Entretenez votre force. Take care of your strength. Mais travaillez sur vos points faibles. Work on your weak points. Et la vie de l'esprit là. And the life of the spirit. Le Saint Esprit va travailler sur tes points faibles. The Holy Spirit will work on your weak points. Pour t'aider à grandir. To help you to grow up. Quand un homme évolue dans la vie de l'esprit. When a man grow up in the life of the spirit. La patience. There's patience. La douceur. Meekness. La bonté. Kindness. Le caractérisme. Will be will follow. Vous pouvez le voir dû à l'extérieur. You can see him hot. Et quand tu t'approches. Hot. Outside, but when you draw closer. Tu es étonné. You are amazed. Dis-moi, le monsieur qui est dû comme ça. If you see this man. Who used to be hard? Is it so soft in private? Let me tell you something. The Bible. A man complicated. Listen. Complicated. A complicated man doesn't know the love of the Spirit. 
Et c'est ce que Jésus a pointé du doigt dans Jean 15. You must be simple, simple. Paul pointe du doigt en disant le fruit de l'esprit c'est l'amour. Paul said that the fruit of the spirit is love. Mais Jean le dit d'une autre manière. Mais John lui said it in another words. Dans 1 Jean 2 verset 12 14, il le dit d'une autre manière. Verse 1 Jean 2 verse 12 14. L'apôtre Jean dit le fruit, la croissance dans la vie de l'esprit. He said the growth in the life of the spirit. Se manifeste en sorte de maturité. Is manifested in different kind of maturity. Tu petit enfant. You move from the child of the baby. Christ. In Christ, et tu rentres dans la dimension des jeunes you gens en Christ. The, the level of the young et des jeunes gens en Christ. And from the young people in tu rentres Christ, dans la dimension des pères en Christ. You enter the dimension of the fathers in Christ. All that is growth in the life of the spirit. Écoute-moi, ce n'est pas Listen automatique. Listen to me. It's not automatically happening. Ce n'est pas une affaire de dire je suis petit enfant. It's not a matter of saying I'm a child. I want to become a father in the two thousand and nine. It's not the way it works. Ça ne se décide pas par juste une parole. It's not decided by a word. Ça ne se décide pas par une carte de visite. It's not decided by a visit call. Même si les chrétiens de ton église t'appellent père. It's not decided by the one with Christian of the church called the Father. It's a matter of growth. De la vie de l'esprit qui se perd en toi. In the life of the spirit that is in you. Et tu grandis. And you grow up. En maturité. In maturity. Comme le papa l'a dit. As our father said. La vie de l'esprit t'amène à te transformer. We bring you to transform your life. De gloire en gloire. From glory to glory. You are metamorphosed. You are meant to realize you to realize that, that you are no more the same person. Alleluia. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Donc, frère et sœur, so brothers and sisters, très pour it's nous very tous. important. Amen. Amen. Alors, frère et sœur, so brothers and sisters, on a we set up those things. Dit, But as I said, notre attitude it's our attitude le Saint qui est en toward the Holy Spirit that's important. Va tout le reste. That we determine va all the rest. La dans la vie de we l'esprit. determine the growth in the life Pourquoi of the Spirit. Je dis ça? Why am Parce I telling that? Because the church dans les mains du was entrusted to the Holy Spirit. The church a été remis entre les mains du were given to the Holy Spirit. Le the Christian personally dans les mains du has been committed into the hands Ma of the Holy Spirit. Frère, my brother, my sister, notre attitude envers le de manière personnelle. our attitude toward the Holy Spirit in a personal way. Tout le One reason all the seminar vu réalité, I saw that truly c'est notre attitude envers le It's our attitude toward the Holy Spirit that I lead us in such a low level of growth. This is what I've noticed. When I listen to the teachings, the main point is the attitude of each believer toward the Holy Spirit that make him move forward or that um, uh, make him draw back. And you cannot accuse someone. You cannot accuse someone for being late in the growth of the personnel. life. It's your personal attitude that determines. It depends. Why do I say the Holy Spirit? Because the one Jesus has committed the church. The church is in the hands of the Holy Spirit. It's the same for the personal Christian life. Every church is committed to the Holy Spirit. Jesus did not leave the church in the hands of men or in the hands of the apostles or the prophets or the teachers or the pastors or the evangelists. No. This is what will let many Christians believe for years and years, decades. Since 10 or 15 years, there's an atmosphere that makes people believe that the church is in the hands of God. The men of God are established by God to build the people of the Lord. But the church is not committed to them. No. How will God commit his church into the hands of fragile men? He said, I will build my church and the way of hell cannot prevail because the church is in the hands of the Holy Ghost. When you read all the Bible, when you read the Gospels, when you read the Epistles, you see it's the Holy Spirit everywhere who is the Lord of the church. He's the the one leading the destinies of the church. He's the one coup. that we take the church to encounter its master when he comes back. Correctement. He's the one to prepare the church in the right way. It is the Holy Spirit. Frère et sœur. That's why brother Dans Jean 15, 26, in John, when Jesus talked about the coming of the Holy Spirit, when Jesus talked about the coming of the Holy Spirit, he said the words. He said, "When the Comforter will come." He said, "When the Comforter will come." He said, "When the Comforter will come." John 15, 26, when the Comforter will come, I will send you on the behalf of the Father. What I care about. He said, "When the Comforter will come." When the Comforter will come. Why? Why did he say when he will come? He said, "When the Holy Spirit attends, and rather the Church." Ne peut rien faire, ne pourra rien faire si lui ne vient pas. 
It means that that's why I said the judge to wait because the judge could do nothing without the Holy Spirit. If the Holy Spirit doesn't come, we cannot do something. That's why I said Jesus said, Tarry here, when he will come. Jesus was saying that the church will be given to the Holy Spirit. Jesus was showing to the disciples that he himself, Jesus, he has committed the Sabbath to the end of the Holy Spirit. It is Jesus the disciples themselves. He takes them and puts them in the hand of the Holy Spirit. Because Jesus knew the Holy Spirit more than us. He knows what the Holy Spirit is able to do. When he was supposed to be born on the earth, the message was announced Marie to Mary. A large, Mary said to the angels, how oh, will this happen? Je ne point I know no man. À Marie en lui disant, the angel answered to Mary by saying, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. The Holy Holy Spirit will come upon you. And the power of God will overshadow you. And you will conceive from the Holy Spirit. So it's by the Holy Spirit that Jesus Christ came. It's by him that was filled. Il a été équipé. He was equipped. Et il a fait le ministère. And he did the ministry. C'est par le Saint Esprit que Jésus. It's by the Holy Spirit Jesus Christ. À la fin de sa vie. Say to the hell of his life. Hey, Father, je t'ai glorifié sur la terre. I've glorified you on the je earth. J'ai achevé l'œuvre que I've tu m'as donnée à faire. I've finished the work you have committed me to do. C'est le Saint Esprit qui a donné à Jésus. It's the Holy Spirit gave Jesus. Une belle conclusion à sa vie sur la terre. A nice conclusion of his life Donc on this Jésus earth. Donc Jésus s'en va. So Jesus left. Il remet tous ses disciples. He commit all the disciples into the hand of the Holy Spirit. Et afin que so that le Saint Esprit vienne. The Holy Spirit may come. De. Take care of Pour them. Pour les faire avancer dans la vie de l'Esprit. And make them move forward. Une un autre passage. Another scripture. Il que l'église a été confiée au Saint Esprit. That's that the church was committed to the Holy Spirit. Dans Apocalypse 2. Revelation chapter 2. Verse 7. Verse 7. Verse 11. Verse 11. Verse 17. Verse 17. C'est la même parole qui est dite là-bas. Il dit que celui qui a des oreilles. Let's hear that his ears. Entendre ce que l'Esprit dit aux églises. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Regardez ce qui est étonnant quand tu lis les premiers. Les premiers chapitres d'Apocalypse. When you read the first chapter of, of Revelation, Jésus qui s'est révélé à Jean. Jesus will reveal himself to John. Jésus a donné des révélations à Jean. He gave revelation to John. Mais quand il est en train de dire le message, but when he's saying the mes- il message, il dit que celui qui a des oreilles entend ce que l'Esprit dit aux églises. He was an E. Let him hear what the Spirit does, says. Tout, tout ce que Jésus veut dire churches. à l'Église. It's in the only thing Jesus wants to say to the church. It's by the Holy Spirit that, to whom, that committed the church that we speak to. You will never enter the voice of Jesus without the Holy Spirit. He says, "Celui qui a des oreilles entend ce que l'Esprit dit aux églises." Let him that hear, hear what the church is saying to the church. Spirit is taking to the church. It's the Holy Spirit that takes care of the church. Celui qui gère les églises. He's the one managing the churches. Partout dans le monde entier. Anyway, the world war is the Holy Spirit. The church is, is spread, but remains one body. Celui qui est en train de préparer l'église dans son ensemble. He's the one preparing the church. C'est le Saint Esprit de Dieu. It's the Holy Spirit C'est of God. C'est à lui que Jésus nous a confié. He is the one that Jesus Christ committed us to. And any church. Qui écoute le Saint Esprit. Will listen to the Holy Spirit. Qui prête attention. Will lay emphasis. À la vie de l'Esprit. To the life of the Spirit. À l'Esprit de Dieu. To the Spirit of God Himself. C'est une église qui va grandir dans la vie de l'Esprit. It's a church that will surely grow up. C'est une église qui va grandir dans la vie de l'Esprit. It's a church that will grow up in the life of the Spirit. Alleluia. Alléluia. Matthieu 17. Verset 1 à 5. Vous notez. Regardez qu'est-ce qui s'est passé. Look at what happened. Regardez très bien. C'est la montagne de transfiguration. It's the mountain of transfiguration. Jésus est allé là-bas pour prier. Jesus went there to pray. Avec ses trois disciples, Pierre, Jacques et Jean. With his three Peter, John and James. La Bible que pendant qu'il priait. The Bible said when he was praying. Une nuit est venue sur la montagne. A cloud came on the mountain. La nuit a couvri. Est venu couvrir Jésus. The cloud came and covered. Écoute moi mon frère. Jesus. Quand la nuit l'a couvert. And when the cloud covered him, Elie the Bible said Elijah and Moses appeared. C'est la loi et les prophètes. Pourquoi ils sont apparus? Why did they appear? Pourquoi les deux là sont apparus? Why did they Parce que mon frère et ma soeur, Dieu, sister. God. a parlé à nos pères par les prophètes. The whole day spoke to our father by prophets and by the law. That's why they appeared. Mais quand ils sont Now when they appeared, brusquement, suddenly, les deux disparaissent. The two of them disappeared. They have fusion in Jesus. In Jesus Christ. Et brusquement, la voix du Père dit, and suddenly, Father voice. Celui-ci que vous voyez, this one we are saying, c'est mon fils bien-aimé. It's my beloved son, in whom I have put all my affection. Ici, il dit, et il dit, écoutez-le. In whom I am well pleased, and Ici, he said, listen to him. Here we see the Father, en train de remettre 
les disciples à Jésus. Comme il est comme une manière, il est en train de confier à Jésus les disciples qui sont là. It's like he's entrusting the disciples to Jesus Christ. Asking Ça c'est le Père qui remet les disciples là pour dire maintenant écoutez Jésus, c'est lui qui est l'homme de l'heure, c'est lui ma voix, c'est lui qui vous prend en charge. This is the Father speaking, like giving the disciples to the Jesus. This is the man of the hour. He hears my voice. If you want to hear me, maintenant Jésus, Jésus à son tour va partir. Now Jesus Christ, but at his turn, will leave too. Lui aussi, il va présenter quelqu'un d'autre. And he too will introduce someone else. Et cette personne, c'est le Saint Esprit. And that person is the Holy Spirit. Il dit à ses disciples. He said to disciples. Dans Luc 24 là. Luke 24. Il dit à ses disciples, il sait tout ici. Je vais partir. I will leave. Mais attendez. But wait here. Luke 24 verset 49. Luke 24 verse 49. Il dit et voici. And behold, j'enverrai sur vous ce que le Père a promis. I will send up on you what the Father has promised. Mais vous, but you, restez dans la ville. Stay in the town. Jusqu'à ce que till that vous soyez revêtus de la puissance du Saint-Esprit. You be and clothe the power of the Holy Ghost. Le mot puissance, il a dit ça. Mais il parle de la venue du Saint-Esprit. We're talking about the coming of the Holy Spirit. Mais ce qui m'intéresse, but what I really care, c'est ce petit mot. Il dit jusqu'à ce que. He said until that. Pourquoi il dit jusqu'à ce que? Why is he saying until that? Le Saint-Esprit revient. Because without the Holy Spirit, l'Église ne peut pas opérer. The church cannot work. Il dit jusqu'à ce que parce que c'est le Saint-Esprit à qui. L'Église sera confiée. It, Donc il faut attendre la venue du Saint Esprit. Il faut attendre sa venue. Il dit jusqu'à ce que. Il faut attendre sa venue. Jusqu'à ce que. He had to wait for his coming. Parce que c'est lui. Because it's him. Il va manifester la vie de l'Esprit. Will manifest the life of the Spirit. Dans tout homme et dans toute femme. In all men and all women. Alleluia. Praise the Lord. C'est quoi frère et sœur? That's why brothers and sisters. Je dis que notre attitude envers le Saint Esprit. I say our attitude toward the Holy Spirit. Va nous aider à grandir dans la dans, dans, dans la vie de l'Esprit. We help us to grow in the life of the Spirit. Et maintenant. Comme nous avons établi que le Saint-Esprit c'est lui. As we said that it's the Holy Spirit he. Quelle est l'attitude maintenant que tout croyant et toute église doit développer envers le Saint-Esprit pour opérer dans ça dans What la vie de la croissance any de la vie de any church should develop to grow in the dans, life of the Spirit. Dans 1 Corinthiens 6. First Corinthians chapter 6. Au verset 19. Verse 19. La première attitude. The first attitude. 1 Corinthians 6 verset 19. First Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19. Il dit ne savez-vous pas He said that, que don't votre you know euh, euh, corps that your body est le temple du Saint Esprit qui est en vous? Is the Holy Spirit that dwells in you? Que vous avez reçu de Dieu and that you received from God. Et que vous ne vous appartenez point à vous-même. You are not your own. Amen. Amen. Donc ici il nous dit He is telling us la première attitude. The first attitude. Le Saint Esprit est déjà en nous. The Holy Spirit is already in you. Le Saint Esprit est en toi. The Holy est Spirit is in you. Is in le me. Le Saint Esprit est dans l'Église. Is in the church. La première attitude. The first attitude. C'est la conscience de chacun. Is the conscience of each member of the Holy Spirit la in his life. La conscience du Saint Esprit est essentielle. It is the conscience si of the Holy Spirit is essential. If you are not conscious of the Holy Spirit in a church, personne, in a person, culte, in a service, well, my sister, we do anything. We do nonsense and useless things. The conscience of the Holy Spirit in our lives and in the church is really essential to grow in the life of the Spirit. He is in me. He is in you. He is in the church. That says that uh, do you not know? Are you not conscious? Aware? The things that make the church of conscience the carnal church it's because they were not de conscious of the reality of the Holy Spirit. Alors vous avez vu que dans l'église de Corinth, comme le papa nous a expliqué, and so you saw in the church of Corinth, like our father said, there were all kind of lives and filthy things. Il y avait des disputes. There were disputes. Il y avait des partis pris. There were just the people who took party for another one. There was uncleanness. Il y avait des comportements même qu'on ne trouve pas chez les païens. There were behaviors that we don't even find to the Gentiles. Laissez-moi vous dire, frère, ceci dans ta vie, tu n'es pas tu n'es pas conscient que Brother, Dieu est en toi. In fear, love, you're not conscious that God is in you. Que le Saint Esprit est en toi. That the Holy Spirit is in you. Il y a des choses que tu vas faire, toi-même tu seras étonné de les avoir. There are things you will do, you'll be surprised that you have done them. You'll be surprised of your behavior. Chaka. Amen. Amen. Donc la conscience. So the conscience. De la réalité du Saint Esprit au milieu de nous. Of the reality of the Holy Spirit in our midst. 
and in our heart we help us to grow in the love of the Spirit. The second thing is honoring the Holy Spirit. The attitude of honor is an attitude that the Holy Spirit really loves. What means that many Christians don't grow up in their lives and many churches they have no honor of the Holy Spirit. They are not honoring the Spirit as they should. The Holy Spirit is not honored. What does it mean to, to be honored? It means giving to someone his true position, his true place. Honoring someone means to give someone his true place. And the true place of the Holy Spirit in the church, in our hearts, is the place of Lord. It is the place of Lord. The Holy Spirit has no other place but to be the Lord of our lives. The word Lord loves me to the one to whom Le I belong to. The, the Holy Spirit must be Lord because the church belongs to him and you to you belong to him. The word Lord means the one who has the right of authority Le upon me. The Holy Spirit wants the place of Lord in our lives. It's when the Holy Spirit got his place of Lordship. This way he can work in a free way. Dans Genèse 1, verset 1 à 2. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 to 2. La terre était informe et vide. The, the, the earth, earth was without form, void, and the darkness was hovering up on the earth. Et regardez bien la Bible que l'Esprit de Dieu se mouvait au-dessus des eaux. And the Bible said the Spirit of God was hovering, waiting up on the water. When we read this verse, we notice a lot of things. There is an expression in verse 2, if you will. There is an expression in verse 2, if you will. But there is one word in the verse 2. We do not consider too much. L'Esprit de Dieu se mouvait L'expression au dessus. And the spirit of God was hovering over. Même Dieu même. Even God, before making the creation, gave the Holy Spirit the place of Lord. He was hovering over. The spirit of God was hovering over. The superiority of the Holy Spirit, the lordship of the Spirit, was established first before the creation. Nothing real can be created in your life, can be done in your life if the Holy Spirit is not loved. The Spirit of God was moving. Church. We have to let the Spirit of God take this place. In those last times, the church will give back the Holy Spirit his place of Lordship. The Spirit of God will over over everything. He will over move over the singer, the preachers, the choir, above our worship, above our praises. He will over over our songs. The Holy Spirit must take the place of Lord. It was when he was up on the waters. This is where he will start the work of creation. He will manifest the creation. The power of creation is in the hands of the Holy Spirit. When he is Lord, he expresses it in your life. That's why when the Holy Spirit is Lord, you enter a spirit of creativity, a spirit of invention, a spirit of invention, no matter be the area of work. Amen. 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 Le Saint Esprit est Seigneur. The Holy Spirit is Lord. Deux Corinthiens trois, l'apôtre Paul le dit. The apostle Paul said it. Il dit là-bas. He said there. Deux Corinthiens trois, verset quatorze, dix-huit. So in chapter four, verse fourteen, eighteen. Vous allez le lire après. Mais ce qui m'intéresse c'est le verset dix-sept. I care about verse seventeen. Le Seigneur c'est l'Esprit. But the Spirit is the Lord. Là où plutôt est l'esprit du Seigneur. Where the spirit of the Lord is. Là est la liberté. There is freedom. There is liberty. En réalité, la tradition dit. The tra tradition says, it doesn't say where the Spirit of the Lord is, in fact, in the original version. It says, but where the Spirit is, Lord, this is where there is liberty. The true liberty starts in your life when you accept the Lordship of the Holy Spirit. He said, you will never be really free to grow in the life of the Spirit if the Holy Spirit is not Lord, if it doesn't have this position.
You cannot experience true freedom Amen. and deliverance. Amen. It is His Lordship that gives us to be free. Reality, Truly, la liberté, the liberty is by the Holy Spirit Amen. of His Lord. Amen. Dans Luke, 3, Luke chapter 3. Luke, 3, Luke, 4, verse 1, Luke 4 verse 1, sorry. Luke 4 verse 1. Luke 4 verse 1. Il s'agit de notre Seigneur Jésus. This is about our Lord Jesus Christ. Jésus rempli du Saint-Esprit. Jesus filled with the Holy Spirit. Came back from the Jordan River. And was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Look at brothers. Jésus rempli du Saint-Esprit. Jesus filled with the Holy Spirit. Quand on dit rempli du Saint-Esprit. When he said filled with Holy Spirit. Écoutez-moi. Listen to me. Quand on a lu dans Genèse, il dit l'Esprit se mouvait au-dessus de. In Genesis they said the Holy Spirit overwing up on the waters. Avec avec même le peuple d'Israël dans le désert, l'esprit était au dessus. La lumière était au dessus. With the few people, the spirit was above. Mais quand on vient dans le Nouveau Testament, in the New Testament, ce qu'on disait, l'esprit était au dessus. When we said the spirit was hovering over. Dans le Nouveau Testament, on dit l'esprit rempli. In the New Testament, they said the spirit filled. Je vais te dire pourquoi. I will tell you why. Le mot, le Saint Esprit, la plénitude du Saint Esprit. The fullness of the Holy Spirit. Ça ne veut pas dire avoir beaucoup de Saint Esprit. It doesn't mean having a lot of Holy Spirit. La plénitude du Saint Esprit. Now the fullness of the Holy Spirit is the Lordship of the Holy Spirit. Being filled with the Holy Spirit is being controlled by Him. It's being under the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Why do we say filled? And we don't say above, over. Because the new covenant, the Spirit is in us. As he is in us, he's no more walking over. That's why the Bible says filled. Being inside, we say filled. Filled with the Spirit. It's the expression of the Lordship of the Holy Spirit. That's why Paul said to the Ephesians, don't be drunk. Don't, don't get drunk. It's debauchery, but on the contrary. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. If you want to understand being filled with the Holy Spirit, it means that look at the man who is drunk of wine. He's controlled, he's controlled. Di directed by the wine, his language, his work, his behavior, his way of doing, is governed by the wine. Paul says, the Holy Spirit should do the same. When he fills you, he starts controlling your life. That's why he makes you grow in the life of the Spirit. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Then la 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 quatrième chose. The fourth point. La troisième chose plutôt. The third point, sorry. Elle dépend absolument du Saint-Esprit. It's depending absolutely on the Holy Spirit. Être rempli de l'Esprit et et être dépend du Saint-Esprit, c'est pas la même chose. Being filled with the Holy Spirit and depending on the Spirit is different. Dépend du Saint-Esprit veut dire quoi? Depending on the Spirit, that's what does it mean? You depend on his wisdom, on his understanding. You rely on the Holy Spirit in anything you do. A man that depends on the Holy Spirit, we grow up in the life of the Spirit. Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 7. It says, put your trust in the Lord with all your heart. Put your confidence with all your heart in the Lord. And do not rely on your own will. It means that one to grow in the love of the Spirit. Must learn to trust to depend on the Spirit with all his heart. You know, sometimes we want to rely on our own wisdom. We want to depend on what we know or we can do. We want to rely on what worked yesterday instead of relying on the Holy Spirit today. Because for man, one a method works, they want to do it everywhere. It's a danger for every man. man. It's danger for every man of God. When he says this man of God did such a program, we want to copy the program. It's become a program that is up to date. No one wants to depend on the Holy Spirit to do something different. That's why entrust your love you on your heart and not rely on your own wisdom. Rely on the Holy Spirit. Depend on the Holy Spirit. Don't rely on your own wisdom. Next part. Verse 6. Acknowledge him in all your ways. It means you don't have a way to decide by yourself. You don't have a, a, a path to establish. The Holy Spirit got thoughts and ways for you. He said, acknowledge him in all your ways. And we 
Quand le Saint Esprit te conduit path, dans ses voies, when the Holy Spirit leads you, même les obstacles s'aplanissent. Even hindrances will be les removed. Les barrières tombent. Barriers will les fall chaînes down. se brisent. Chains will be broken. Les prisons s'ouvrent. Prison will be open. Ce qui était difficile devient facile. What was hard becomes easy. He will direct your path. Le verset qui suit. The next Il dit, verse. Ne sois point sage à tes Do not be yeux. wise in your own eyes. Crain l'Éternel. Cheer the Lord. Et and depart from evil. Ça, est la vis -vis This is depending on the Holy Spirit. Moi, vu que tous ceux qui du Saint -Esprit, and I saw also we depend on the Holy Spirit. Their lives will take another level. Leur vie avance. Their life is moving forward. There is a growth that is in their life. And even their ministries. Alleluia. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Le dernier point c'est l'obéissance. And the last point is obedience. C'est l'obéissance. Obedience. Dans, dans Nombre 9 verset 15. Numbers 9 verse eh, 15. Verset 15. Numbers voilà. 9 verse 15. Là-bas, je, je récapitule, on va pas lire. Là-bas, la Bible ne nous parle de l'obéissance. Here the Bible talk about obedience. Quand Israël What Israel was led by God in the wilderness. The cloud was up on them. When Moses made the tabernacle, the cloud came. God was up above, above them, came in the tabernacle. And in the day, it was the cloud was like. But the Bible nous dit que quand la nuit s'élevait de dessus la tente, les enfants d'Israël partaient. In the, and whenever the cloud was taken up from above the tabernacle after the children they journeyed dans le lieu où la nuit. and in the Asus. place where the cloud set as the children of Israel would pick their tents at, at the command of the Lord the children of Israel would journey this is obedience to the Holy Israel Spirit obey au Saint afin Israel had to obey to the Holy Spirit before moving Mais dans quoi? but moving where? Dans la croissance, dans la vie de l'esprit. In the growth in the life of the spirits. Il dit donc quand Israël part, quand la nuit s'élevait, Israël aussi partait. He said when the cloud would move, Israel would move. Next verse. Il dit il campait sur l'ordre de l'Éternel. Regardez bien. Il dit il campait aussi longtemps que la nuit restait sur le tabernacle. And as long as the cloud stayed above the tabernacle, they remained in camp. Et leur avancement vers la terre promise était déterminé pas par eux. The growth du and the progress in the promised land is not depending by them, but by the le, movement of the Holy Spirit. Look at the next verse. Restait, when the cloud, even when the cloud continued long, si many days donc, above the tabernacle, the children of Israel also kept the charge of the Lord and did not journey. They was obeying. Cela veut dire que ils se soumettaient au Saint Esprit qui était là sous la forme de la nuit. It means that they was obeying the Holy Spirit was there like a cloud. Dans la vie des Obedience in the man's life. Develop la croissance dans la vie de l'esprit en lui. Develop his growth in the life of the spirit. C'est pourquoi là où il y a la désobéissance. That's why why is it disobedience? Vous vous arrêtez vous-même. You are stopping yourself. Mais lorsque il y a l'obéissance, but once there's obedience, vous voyez que votre vie spirituelle reprend. Your spiritual life will start going forward. Your spiritual growth will start again. Un homme de Dieu qui obéit. A man of God will obey. Dans sa vie personnelle. In his personal life. Un croyant qui obéit personnellement. Il voit la croissance dans sa vie spirituelle. He will see growth in his life. Une église qui obéit. A church that obeys. To what the Holy Spirit says, there is a growth in the life of each member of the church. Because the Holy Spirit will know how to make you move forward. He knows how to make you move. He is the one making you progress. He is the one feeding us with the word. He is the one giving us to know more God. He is the one teaching us everything. He is the Holy Spirit with us. Is that our brothers and sisters? Our attitude toward the Holy Spirit in this year 2022. This is what will determine in my life and in your life the different levels of, level of growth in the life de of the Spirit. spirit. That you will have, that each one of us should experience, that we will live. The, the responsibility is given to you. You are responsible of your growth. You have to position yourself and to obey to the word of God as the Lord gave us during this week. Amen. Amen. Que la paix de Dieu repose sur May the peace of God rest upon you. May His grace rest upon you. May the Lord help each other to progress. May this year 2022, 
2022 not remain the same like last year. May you personally, the testimony of a growth in your life or church will not be given by someone else, but let you be a testifier that the weak points of your life be strengthened by the work of the Holy Spirit. Any disobedience be a raise from your life. May the submission of the Holy Spirit be given to you. May the obedience of the Holy Spirit be given to you. May your obedience be deeper than last year in the name of Christ Jesus may the honor to the Holy Spirit be daily manifested in your life may you be a man or woman who honor the Holy Spirit may you value the Holy Spirit may you lift up the Holy Spirit above all your friends in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I proclaim this upon your life my brother and my sister I proclaim that you are we are not depending on your intellectual knowledge you are depending on the wisdom of the Spirit, on the knowledge of the Spirit, on the understanding of the Spirit. In the name of Christ Jesus, in the name of Christ Jesus, in the name of Christ Jesus, I proclaim that the Holy Spirit is in you. You are unbeatable team. During this year 2022, in the name of Christ Jesus, in the name of Christ Jesus, may your fruit that were 30% go to 60%, more to 100%. In the name of Christ Jesus. In the name of Christ Jesus. Once they will look at you, they will see the characteristics of love in you, of joy in you, of peace in you, of kindness in you, of patience in you. May your family acknowledge that. May your spouse recognize it. May your wife recognize it. May your children recognize it. May the people in your department recognize his growth in the name of Christ Jesus. In your city, let them recognize it. In your neighbor, let them recognize it. In your country, let them recognize it. In the name of Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen.